it's going to be good to know exactly how many games Marshall's going to miss and be able to game plan around it? Uh, exactly. Uh, we obviously knew there was going to be a suspension. And as we were preparing our team, you know, he's been on the second team the entire time simply because we want to get a little bit of continuity. As a matter of fact, when we, we had a close scrimmage against Little Rock last week and I didn't play him a lot, simply not knowing what to anticipate as it related to him being a part of our team early. So uh, now we know and we can game plan accordingly. Lineup, lineup wise, how does it change? I mean, what has changed? Does the Darius have to take on a bigger role? I mean, who, who's got to step up? Well, the one thing, the, the, the advantage that we have is we do have a, a pretty veteran group in our backcourt when you start talking about you know Jarvis is a two-year starter Snoop obviously had an opportunity to emerge in his role last year Derek Millinghouse um, and we've seen a, a huge improvement as I've said from day one in Anthony and, and Newby in year two so I think we'll be okay obviously when you lose your leading score uh, different guys are going to have to step up and fill that void. How are the two front court guys looking now that you've had a, a exhibition, or I mean a scrimmage and all that kind of stuff? AJ and Bear? Yeah. In, in, in particular. Well, also new guys, Sebastian. And yeah. Him. You know, unfortunately we lost Terry, so, you know, we, we lose a front court guy, so now we're dealing with four. Two of those didn't play. Uh, Bear didn't hardly play at all last year, and then obviously AJ goes down against Kentucky. So uh, I've been really pleased. They haven't missed a day of practice. Uh, they seem healthy. They're getting their timing back. Most importantly, they're getting their confidence back so that uh, they can play the roles that we need them to play in lieu of uh, Reg and Murph no longer being here. And then those two freshmen, we've got to understand that they are freshmen. I've been uh, very pleased with the way they've approached the preseason as it relates to their work ethic, their attention to detail. They just got a lot to learn. So we've got to have Bear and AJ play like veterans, play like guys that have been in real games, which they have, and allow these new guys to uh, come along in a freshman phase. What can you tell from Bear and A.J. right now in terms of endurance and how long they can go? You know, I think uh, Bear's probably in the best shape of his life. He's down to, I look at it almost every day in the weight room, and they, they weigh him two or three times a week, and he's down to about 272, 273. Uh, he's a guy that takes conditioning very seriously. He's a fourth year junior. He's been in our program four years. He knows what it takes. So I think physically he's fine. It's just a matter of he hasn't played in a real game in quite some time. So it's going to uh, be a little rust that he needs to get through from a, from a nervousness, from an apprehension, from going too fast. That's really the concern that we have moving forward with him. With the experience they have, how much do you need them to play? Do you I, need to play a lot? A lot well, I need them to, to beat veterans. I need them to to know what they're doing. I need them to help these young guys along. I, I don't have to, I don't want to spend a lot of time in practice coaching them as it relates to what we're doing. They need to know those things so that we can spend our energy on guys that are new to the program. Do you know who your starters are for Friday? We do not. It's still a little bit fluid. We'll play everybody. You guys know how I approach the preseason. You know, obviously you want to win every game, but for me, We'll have 11 scholarship bodies, uh, healthy and eligible for that game, and all 11 will play. With the suspension staggered to where he's going to you know, miss two, the first two SEC games, how does that change things, I guess, in the approach going into the SEC season? Because it's two totally different seasons. Is that kind of jarring in a way? Yeah, I've never dealt with it. Uh, you know, I've never. It, it's kind of unprecedented in the way that that, uh, that it's laid out. So for us, we'll just deal with it as it relates to him not being there for the opener then he'll be back in the mix. Uh, and then when we approach Auburn, by then, you know, a lot of other guys have gotten experience as it relates to Anthony, uh, Newby. Uh, so my hope is we just, we'll deal with it like, uh, uh, like we would if anybody, we lose anybody at that stage of the season. I don't think about it big picture right now. We just think about him not playing Friday and not playing in our opener.